Hey, Coach, the trail. Coach, First off, I want to, uh, you know, congratulate our seniors. You know, last opportunity to go out there as a family and, and play at Apogee. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy uh, that they got this win tonight. You know, it was something that uh, this is a, this is a team uh, that that obviously we've uh, we've had a history with, and uh, to be quite honest with you, didn't fare too well here. Uh, uh, against them a year ago, but what a year makes, you know, uh, the way they worked in the off season, getting bigger, stronger, and faster. I think we're a much better team, uh, obviously, than we were this past year. And I was, you know, really excited about the way they put in the, the work this week. And we had to overcome some adversity, uh, but I thought they, they handled the adversity from last week really well. They came back, bounced back, and that's just a credit to our seniors, our leaders, um, you know, our coaches, and uh, I'm just proud of them. I'm, I'm very proud of them, and uh, they've won a lot of games here the last couple of years in Apogee, and they, that's, they've set a standard and uh, something they can be really proud on and hold on to, and um, so I'm, I'm very happy for them on that. you got to give FAU a lot of credit. They played extremely hard. You knew it was going to be a, uh, uh, an explosive game. I mean, that offensively, they're one of the best in the country, I believe. I think their running backs are special. Um, they got some, uh, obviously, a lot of team speed, and they have a lot of playmakers. Defensively, they're very physical. They do a great job of mixing up their coverages and, and forcing you to uh, continue to make uh, uh, adjustments throughout the game. And um, so you got to give them a lot of credit. Coach Kiffin does a great job, and uh, you know they had a lot to come in here and play for tonight. But uh, but so do we. And again. I uh, just can't say enough for, for our group, our, our seniors, and I'm just proud of the way they all played together. It took a, it was a total team win. It took all three phases to get it done. When one side kind of made some mistakes, the other guy stepped up, and or the other two phases stepped up, and we knew it was going to have to be that way. And uh, before the game, you know, we, I told them we're going to find a way to win. Just relax and make plays, and uh, they believed in that, and they they trusted that, and they did. They ended up finding a way to win. I mean, I was, I didn't want to take the lead at halftime. You notice that, right? <laughs> we play, we play better down one, I think. Um, no, uh, really, I, they were poised. I mean, they really were in the locker room. It was, uh, we were making adjustments and coaches did a great job of getting together and making sure that, uh, you know, we had the, the, the same message we want to put out to those guys. And um, they were excited. Again, they, they, they knew the type of battle we were going to be in for four quarters. Uh, they knew that it was going to take everything they had for four quarters. And, um, you know, I thought their attitude was great. And uh, they came out. Uh, you know, we didn't start as well as we would have liked uh, with that turnover there. But at the same time, again, they knew we were going to find a way to win. They believed in that. They trusted in each other. Defense didn't blink right there. Uh, come out opening second half, we ended up throwing a, a pick. And they stopped him and held him to, what, a field goal. And so, again, it was a uh, total team win. Yeah, she is. and uh, I, I'm so excited for Quinn. He, he's he's such a great teammate, and he's a great leader. Uh, he's one of our better leaders on this team, and he does not get enough credit uh, for all the things he's done uh, for this team, for this community. Uh, he's a special person, and for him to have the opportunity on senior night uh, to come in here and, and step up and have to execute and uh, – that was that touchdown was huge. That touchdown run, and he executed uh, perfectly what, what uh, he had been coached to do, what he had been repping. And um, you know, when one man step goes down, another man steps up. Uh, I haven't told Mason this yet, but uh, it was uh, after that series. I was like, man, I, I'm I'm in trouble. I may have to bench the uh, I may have to bench the all-time leading passer in school history. So Quinn may just have to take this job over. So, <laughs> but he was phenomenal. I'm so happy for him. Uh, he did a great job. Ah, it's not good. No, I think I, the same feeling probably everybody in that stadium felt. Um, you know, but I do know Mason well enough to understand that uh, if it's not broke, he's probably going to – and he, if he can, he's going to go back in there. And so I think uh, once I kind of knew and understood what the injury was, uh, I knew we could get him in there, get him patched up, and he'd be out there shortly. Your defense got more comfortable as the game went on, just against their 
Like well, that's the, the, I mean, the way they play, uh, some of their up-tempo things, um, you know, once they get that first first down, they can, they can play really fast. And so uh, the speed of the game, you know, you, you can't, it's hard to practice that you know, throughout a week with a scout team. And so I thought they did a great job early, uh, to be honest with you, because um, usually early, that's kind of the, um, when they come out and you're not used to the speed of the game yet, that's when it, uh, a lot of times it really hurts you. But I thought they were great early. Um, and, and you also have to adjust their team speed because they do have uh, a lot of team speed. And, um, you know, there were some ups and downs along the way. Uh, we put them in some bad situations at times. Um, but, uh, yeah, once they settled down, I, you know, started making plays, you know. And, uh, I think Coach Ref and, and that staff did a great job of, uh, you know, continuing to keep positive over there and making sure that uh, they made the adjustments and the, and the players did a great job executing them. Why do you think that you guys had some issues uh, you know, getting first downs to these teams? Obviously, the defense makes a big play down the stretch to kind of quench this one. But down the stretch of the fourth quarter, why do you think well, the first downs aren't always easy, especially uh, when you're trying to milk clock and trying to run off clock. And, um, you know, uh, you just got to execute. And, uh, you know, when we got, uh, we had it there at the end where we could have tried to get that first down. Uh, they had some timeouts left, but then we came back, tried to get a first down and, you know, got us, we put the ball on the ground and got us in a long yardage situation. And from there, it's a, it's just fighting for everything you have just to try to run as much clock off as you can, trying to give them as little time as possible. Um, but, uh, you know, it's football. I mean, it's, uh, they're all a challenge, brother. Well, it was big. I mean, that was huge. That was a huge play. And not only his run, when he got to the second level, he made a great move uh, in the secondary, and he took it to the house. And, he knew uh, going into that situation that we were going to lean on. I mean, there, that was the time of the game to where, uh, you know, we were trying to eat some of the clock up. We were trying to do the best we could to, you know, force them to burn their timeouts. Uh, you know, I'm trying to be good with the game management on that side, the clock management. Uh, and he made a huge play. Uh, but I'll tell you this, uh, the offensive line did a great job. I think Woody had a uh, – Woody made that play go, I think. I haven't seen it on tape, but um, from the looks of it. But, I thought our O-line did a great job up front tonight, too. You know, early on, they were, they were bringing a little bit more pr zone pressures uh, in that first drive, we, and we, we did a good job of picking them up, and we were gashing them. Uh, then they went to some man coverage. Um, that didn't work too well for them either, and then they made the adjustments to uh, really start playing a lot more cover two, Tampa two, drop eight, which they hadn't shown all year that that had that in their package. So they made that adjustment, and we knew at that time we were going to have to run the football. And, uh, you know, DeAndre did a great job. The offensive line did. Once we came back out and figured that's what they're going to try to do in the second half, that's when we really tried to start establishing that run. I'm glad I don't have to back that article up. Uh, so it's like I tell my players, I can, I can say a lot of things right now because I don't have to go out there and prove it to you. So uh, <laughs> looks like there's a lot of tough guys in that article from uh, the way I read it. Would you take yourself if you did have to do that? I'm glad I don't have to do it. I'm too old for that. <laughs> I'm, I'm way too old for that. And I don't, I don't know if I could last. I, I don't know how fights are too long anymore either. There's, there's like MMA, what is it, five, five minute rounds? I'd probably have a heart attack after about two minutes. People don't understand how hard that is to even do anything for to fight for two minutes. It'll take it out of you. So, again, I'm glad I don't have to prove it. Appreciate it. What kind of question to get one this morning? Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's on deadline, so they can ask whatever they want.